welcome to Mippi Adventures. I'm Mippi. My channel is all about outdoor adventures and Easter survivalism. Today I'm testing out the Swedish uniform M39 from 1939. I got the backpack also and the helmet. Let's do it. Yeah, and don't you just hate when you forget your tent at home? But it's no worries because I'm gonna show you guys how to make an easy survival shelter. And we're in a park right now, close to the highway, so this is gonna be a stealth camping. Gonna build my survival shelter over here, and it's also very close to the highway. Like, you know, a lot of retarded people like hanging around, so it's gonna be real easy to build a survival shelter. Look at this, man. Easy picking. So, I'm not gonna like hunt for the, the, the best branch uh, or something like that. I'm gonna take this and move it like 10 meters. And uh, yeah, I mean, why make it harder than it has to be? I, I mean, I love making stuff harder than it has to be, but why make it harder than it has to be? Let's dig in. And they're, they're not heavy. They're not heavy uh, at all. Or maybe it's because I'm so fucking strong, man. Okay, let's do it. Dude, dude. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know your name. I mean, who, who am I talking to here? Uh, but this spot here is even better than... It. And like, it's free food, too. Look at this. Fresh apples. <laughs> Whoever said camping was hard. Everything with us. Yes, we can. I think that was Obama's slogan. Yes, we can. You know, for a normal person, like a modern man, they wouldn't be able to do this. But I'm from 1939, so it's a fucking cakewalk for me. Okay, almost done collecting the branches. Just like a, f a few more, I think. Then I will have enough and I will get, uh, you know, leaves and stuff. And we can start building kind of warm I mean it's September but uh, it's still warm so uh, yeah oh wait hang on dude I gotta do this manly you know if you're a man you gotta carry it on the shoulder like that and I'm gonna bring my freaking jacket also I think the uniform holds up even during summertime yeah it's been hot, I've, I've been sweating, but it's, it's doable, it's doable. Almost there, man, almost there. This is awesome. Okay, so now we're stocked up and we can start building this survival shelter. The highway is clearly visible. I got a nice view over the field. A little bit more sunlight, you know. You gotta make it decent. Even though, like, when you get down to the bottom, still use longer branches. Otherwise, you know, the shelter will narrow out. So even if, like, technically you could stretch out, you can't because it narrows out, so you're gonna be sleeping like this. Okay, this one, really nice, really nice. But I think we're gonna have it like here. I'm gonna use it down below because it's a little bit shorter. But still a good length, so it doesn't narrow out. Dude, this survival shelter, it's gonna be total crap. But it's only for a day, so it will work. I'm finishing up the shelter here. 
just a few more branches and this like this is the best like being out here I mean yeah sure I'm in a park but being alone uh, you know you can have time with your own thoughts and uh, not care about you know the busy city or anything like that so uh, this is why I love being out here actually to be completely alone we got to add some more leaves and stuff for the insulation, but uh, we're almost there. Didn't have as much time as I wanted, but I mixed fucking trees everywhere. I mixed grass and leaves. I don't know about the grass, but leaves are great for insula insulation and uh, like for tonight, yeah, it will be do do doable uh, because it's gonna it's not gonna rain. Even if it would rain, uh, it, it would still work because of the leaves. Like the grass, only if I would only have built using grass, this wouldn't be no, it wouldn't be doable. But with the leaves intertwined, it'll work. If it, it were a real uh, survival situation, of course I would be putting a lot of more work into this. And uh, as you can see, there are plenty of leaves going around here. But in Sweden, it's a fucking crime to like break a branch on a living tree. So that's why we're not doing it. Yeah, let's cook some food and uh, go to sleep. I don't know, drink some more beer. I don't care. What the fuck, Scott? What are you doing here? What are you talking about? I've been here all day. Do, do, do. You say you've been here all day, but yeah. why, why didn't you help me with my survival shelter, man? I did. You did? Yeah, every step of the way. I was there. Like a guardian angel. Exactly. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. And you know, as always, until the end, reaching the goal. Stay mippy, man. Yeah, we're gonna listen to some tunes while we cook our food. Yeah, we're trying to find a good channel so we can pop some tunes. A few moments later. Change of plans. Like, I mean, the survivor shelter I built definitely holds up. But we wanted to do something more. We wanted to go for an adventure closer to town because here's more people. We got a railroad tracks right there. And it's like, look up there. It looks like crap, right? Yeah. But we're gonna set up our tent there instead. Here it is. All set up on this small hill. Like we have a great view. You can't see anything now, but I'll show you guys in the morning and as I said we're just by the railroad tracks so this is this is real cozy let's let's go to sleep okay guys thanks for watching until the end reaching the goal stay meepy man